सत्यम शोचम दया शांति त्याग सतोष आजव शमो दमस्प साम्यम तिथिक्षा उपरती श्रुत ज्ञानम विरक्ति ऐश्वर्य शौर्य तेजो बल स्मृति स्वातंत्र्य कौशल कांती धैर्य माधवम प्रागभ्यम प्रश्रय शील सह ओजो बल भग गांधी स्थर्य आस्तिक्य मानो अनहंकृति चान्ये च भगवन् यत्र महागुणा भ्रात्या महत्व न वियती स्म कर्चे तेन अहम गुण पात्र श्री निवासेना सांप्रतम शोचा रहीद लोक पापना कलिना ईक्षित धरित्री the earthly planet was lamenting that due to the contamination done by the kali i am thinking i am lost of all these good qualities <coughs> so sochom uh, satyam truthfulness uh, we must remember always that uh, we are part and parcel of god so uh, we have all the good qualities of god that is our nature uh, just like the drop of the ocean water it has got all the qualities of the ocean there is no doubt about it therefore if we take a little drop of ocean water because the ocean water is salty we Uh, taste the water salty the salt is there also but in minute quantity the ocean has got millions and trillions of tons of salt and here in the drop of the water there is a grain of salt but salt is there uh, another example just like a little portion of gold so that is also gold it is not iron uh, so naturally in our original position we have got all the good qualities uh, of god now due to the material contamination 
the godly qualities are now covered. The godly qualities are there, but it is uh, covered. That covering is possible due to our very minuteness, very small quantity. Uh, therefore, we are fallible. But Krishna is not fallible. Uh, another example, big fire and this spark. <clears throat> this spark is also fire, but it has got the potency to become extinguished. Suppose a spark <coughs> falls down from the original fire, down, it is extinguished. But the big fire does not extinguish. Therefore, uh, the big fire or Krishna is infallible. His name is Ochuta. Infallible. <coughs> The Mahavad philosopher says that we are in Maya, and as soon as the Maya is taken away, we are God. Uh, <coughs> so uh, we are not God, but we manifest our godly qualities when Maya is taken away. Uh, so long. We are covered by Maya. Our godly qualities are not uh, manifest. Uh, but we are not God. Uh, or you are God, but not that God, that big God. But you are a particle God. You can say, I am God. But you are not that uh, man original uh, chief god, that you are not. Uh, this is our philosophy, and that is very genuine. Uh, how can I be god? If I am god, then why I have lost my godly qualities? Uh, or why my godly qualities are now covered? This is very common sense. Uh, the godly qualities are there, just like a small particle of this part, it is carbon. When it comes out of the fire, then it is extinguished. But if you put again to the fire, it is carbon again bright, brightened. Similarly, we are part and parcel of God, but if we fall down from the association of God, then we become appearing like material. But we are not material. Uh, it appears that extinguished. Uh, this is simultaneously achinta bheda We are simultaneously one and different. Uh, as part and parcel in quality, we are one. But in quantity, God is great, we are small part. Uh, so, Originally, we have got all these qualities, Sattas, Sochang, Daya, Khanti, Stiyaga, Santosa, Arjavam, Arjavam, Samodamas, Tapasyam, Mantri, Kopara, Tishtam. Everything is there. But due to material quali uh, um, contamination, especially in this age, Kali Yuga, uh, the Kali Yuga is very strong. Time is very strong, that even in contact, coming in contact with Krishna consciousness, they are falling. They are falling. That is due to Kali. Therefore, Madhar Dharitsri is Sochami Rahitang Lokam Papana Koli Kolina Asita. Now the Kali Yuga has come. I am thinking that I am very much disturbed that people are losing their original qualities. These qualities are not to be acquired. These qualities are there, but it is covered. Uh, just like 
a serpent knife the cutting power is there but when it is covered by dirt uh, it does not cut uh, so this is due to uh, our material contamination uh, therefore we have to revive it that sharp means we have to revive that is krishna consciousness movement uh, if one is actually krishna conscious then these qualities will be visible in his person ja uh, shasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana sarvai gunai tatva samasate sura uh, that is the test uh, if one is actually advanced in krishna consciousness he will not find any fault in him that is krishna the shasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana if one has got unflinching faith and devotion to the main personality of god hai <coughs> the shasti bhakti bhagavati akinja sarvai gunai all the good qualities these are the good qualities mentioned here satyam saucham samodam santosh vajyam sam samen 26 good qualities of vishnu these good qualities will be manifest then we understand oh here is uh, <coughs> actually a pure devotee A pure devotee cannot be contaminated. Uh, just like God can be, cannot be contaminated, but we are part and parcel a small God. We can say God, I am God. But but if you have got sense, then you will say that I am not the great God, but I am small God. Uh, that is sense. because you have got the god qualities you are not the supreme that is not possible uh, supreme is supreme nitya nityanam chetana chetana nam that is the vedic indian sir that he is the chief of the eternal so we are all eternal na hanate hanmane sharire we are not lost or dead on account of our annihilation of this body That is not possible. Nitta sasutayang na hanati hanna mani sari. As God is eternal, we are also eternal. As God is sasata, we are also sasata. But small. Achinta vidave. This is our pleasure. So Krishna consciousness movement means to revive the original consciousness. If one is actually in krishna he is the truthful truthfulness uh, these are the qualities uh, cleanliness all is clean uh, taking thrice bath uh, cloth clean mind clean body clean activities clean desire clean thinking clean everything clean no contamination uh, This is the test. I am doing all nasty things, and I am advertising. I have advanced. What rascal you are advancing? You are doing all nonsense, and you are advanced. And they have no same even to call them shameless, shameless. Even not gentlemen. Cheating, and still he is advertising. I am advanced, but. A person who is actually in Krishna consciousness, or actual sadhu shastra guru baat ko tine the koriya hoyko. We have to just like if you go to the chemical laboratory, you are testing uh, the characteristic. In the book, there is characteristic. Uh, even an ordinary chemical. Now they say, take for example, salt. Uh, It is called chemical name is sodium chloride. Huh? Sodium chloride. So in the book you will find sodium chloride and the characteristics 
it is like this, it is like this, it is like this. The color, the taste, uh, the composition, so many things are there. Similarly, yeah, how we are testing the purity of sodium chloride? One of the books. Similarly, here is the characteristic of pure devotee. Characteristic. So test uh, whether it is truthful. Uh, uh, it is not truthful, sir. Uh, then he is not pure devotee. Uh, he is doing something uh, he promised before the spiritual master, before the deity, before the fire, no illicit sex. But he is having illicit sex. So how he is advanced? How is advanced? He is not even truthful. The first qualification uh, is unclean. Uh, truthfulness, so chong, uh, means very clean. Very clean means that we utter this mantra. Apovitra pavitra va sarvavasthanga tupiva. Just mare pundari ka thang sa bhaiha abhantaram suchi. Suchi. Sochang. Suchi. So, <coughs> the devotee must be clean inside and outside. Both. Outside cleaning by taking bath, washing the body with oil or soap or so on. And inside, uh, inside, materially, there, there will be no unclean things, uh, stool, unnecessary stool, that way one must evacuate every morning and evening. Uh, <coughs> if we eat more, then we have to evacuate twice. But if we eat less, then once evacuation is sufficient, uh, it is said, yogi, bhogi, and rogi. Uh, yogi means uh, spiritually advanced, and bhogi means materialist, and rogi means diseased. It is a common saying. A yogi evacuates only once. Uh, that is yogi. And bhogi, because he eats more, uh, <coughs> so he evacuates twice. And one who evacuates more than twice, he is rogi, diseased. Yogi, bhogi, rogi. So everything has got a routine, war, so strong. So you will feel healthy if you have, uh, if you have evacuated nicely. You have washed inside and outside, taken your bath, uh, then you will feel always refreshed. And unless you feel refreshed, uh, you cannot uh, very nicely chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra or Sar Krishna. They have cleanliness is required. Apovitra Pavitrava. But Apovitra Pavitrava Sarvavasthanga. If one takes to Krishna consciousness and follows the rules and regulations, then automatically he becomes clean inside and outside. Automatically. Uh, <coughs> what for we are accepting initiation? Uh, in any condition, uh, in any condition we shall be purified by chanting Hare Krishna. Cheta Darpana Mahajana. Uh, if we chant really, uh, there are three stages of chanting. One chanting is with offense, beginning. Uh, there are ten kinds of offenses you have described many times. If we chant with offense, uh, that is the that is one stage. If we chant offenseless, that is one stage. And if we chant pure, uh, offenseless is not yet pure. We are trying to make offenseless, but not yet offenseless. But when there is pure chanting, that is success. Uh, nam, namabhas, and suddha uh, So our aim is, this was discussed 
in fine in chaitanya charitamrita discussion between haridas thakur and a brahmin so uh, by chanting you can come to the highest stage of perfection <clears throat> uh, in the beginning there may be offenses but if you try to avoid the offenses then it is nama bhas uh, nama bhas means not actually pure name but uh, almost pure uh, nama bhas and shuddhana when one uh, chants shuddha name holy name of god then he is uh, on the platform of loving platform with krishna uh, that is the perfection and stage and in navabha stage not in pure marginal between pure and offensive that is mukti you become mukta liberated from material bondage and if we chant offensively then we remain in the material world bhakti nath thakur has said namakkhar bahir hoy nama nahi hoy it is mechanical Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But actually, it is not Hare Krishna. Nama Khar, Nam Bahir Hai, Nama Khar Na, Nama Nahi. So it must be purely chanting. But you should not be disappointed. Even impure. But therefore, we must have fixed chanting process. Uh, because we are not in the pure stage. Uh, therefore, by force, just like. A, a a boy in the school and uh, we had this training in our childhood school our teacher would ask me uh, you write and uh, uh, 10 pages and write uh, uh, so that means practicing 10 pages my handwriting will be set up uh, see even if you do not follow 16 down where is the question of uh, chanting hari krishna so don't be artificial don't be uh, i want to say a show bot be real thing and that is want if you want real benefit of spiritual life don't be so bot uh, you know so bot yes uh, the medical shop has a big bottle it is full of water only uh, and color is red or blue or something like But a real medicine does not require no, not now. Real medicine does not require a sober. A small, uh, uh, if one can chant purified, offenseless, once Krishna now, he is free from all material bondage. <coughs> once only. Aka Krishna na me jato paap hari paapi hoy jato paap kuri bari na. So. Sochom, sochom means inward cleanliness and outward cleanliness. Sochom. Inside you should be pure, purely thinking, uh, no contamination. Uh, we should not think anyone as my enemy. Everyone is friend. I am. I am not pure. Therefore, I am thinking somebody as my enemy. Uh, there are so many symptoms. So, so chong, one should be clean inside and outside. Sattam so chong daya. Uh, that they have already explained. Daya means to become compassionate to the fallen, uh, one who has fallen, one is in distress. So, actually, the whole population at the present moment, they are fallen. Krishna says, "Jada jada hi dharma sabdhani bhavati bharati, abhutthana dharma sabdhatmanam sijam maham, paritranaam sadhunam vinasaam chudushkitaam, dharma samasthapnaathayo sambhavani jige." So, at the present moment in the Kali Kali Yuga, practically they are all demons. All demands. So, if Krishna, uh, of course, sometimes it will come. 
that Krishna has to come here simply to kill the demon. That is Kalki avatar. Uh, that is described by Jayadev Kushchami. Uh, uh, what is that? Kesa Vadhita Kalki Sarira Jaya Jagadisa Hare. Kalo Dhumoke to me, Makimopi Karala. Mlecha ni vahani dhani kalo atikara bala. Mlecha. The mlecha, this word, javan. These, there are words in Vedic language. Mlecha, javan. Javan means meat eaters. Javan. It does not mean uh, only Europeans are javan and Americans are not, Indians are not javan. No, anyone who eats meat, is a job. Jobon means meat eater. And mlecha means unclean. One who does not follow Vedic principles. He's called mlecha. Just like as the Mahavadans say, kafir, uh, one who does not follow Muslim religion, they are called kafir. That is religion point of view. And the Christians say heathens, one who does not follow Christian religion, they are called heathens, is it not? <coughs> Similarly, anyone who does not follow Vedic principle, he is called mlecha. Uh, so time will come when nobody will follow Vedic uh, principles of life. Therefore, mlecha. Uh, so mlecha nivaha. When all the people will become lechas, nobody following the Vedic principles. Mlecha nivaha, nidhane. At that time, there is no more preaching, simply killing. Nivaha, nidhane, kalo, atikarava. In this age, very fearful, not feature, but action is very fear. Mlecha nivaha, nidhane, kalo. Just like now they are apprehending the appearance of a comet. So Krishna will appear just like a comet. So that is the end of Kali Yuga. People will be so blechacha, unclean, habits. They dull. Now they have already begun. Already begun. They have no brain. Even big, big, so called. Mahavadana avatar. Mahavadana. Very munificent incarnation. Or magnanimous. Mahavadana avatar. Namo Mahavadana. Krishna Prema. Is giving. Uh, Krishna prayer, love of Krishna. Uh, you, one cannot understand Krishna. It is so difficult. Manushanam says, Kaschid Jatati Siddha. Jatatama Visidhyana Kaschid To understand Krishna is not an easy job. But Krishna, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is so compassionate, not only he is giving himself Krishna, but he is giving Krishna prayer, love of Krishna. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, avatar, daya, Mahavadana avatar. So whatever Krishna consciousness moment is going forward, it is due to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's magnanimous compassion for the poor people suffering in this Kali Yuga. Otherwise, to become Krishna conscious, it's not very easy job. It's not easy job. So those who are getting the chance of becoming Krishna conscious by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they should not lose the opportunity. It will be suicidal. Uh, don't fall down. Uh, it is very easy. Uh, simply chanting by Hare Krishna mantra, not always twenty-four hours, Although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends Kirtaniya Sadahari, always chant. Uh, that is the principle. Uh, but 
Uh, we cannot do that because we are so much overwhelmed by the influence of Kali. So at least sixteen down. Don't miss this. Uh, don't miss this. What is the difficulty? Sixteen rounds. Uh, at most it will take two hours. You have got twenty-four hours. Uh, uh, you want to sleep all night. Sleep. Uh, Ten hours sleep. That is not recommended. Don't sleep more than six hours. Uh, but they want to sleep. They want to sleep twenty-four hours. Uh, that is their desire. We call it you. But uh, no, then you'll be wasting time. Minimize eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. When it is need, that is perfection. Because these are bodily necessities. Eating, sleeping, mating, defending, that is bodily necessity. But I am not this body. They in us mean the tha they he come on. So that realization takes time. Uh, but uh, when we are actually advancing in Krishna consciousness, we must know our duty. Uh, sleeping uh, not more than six hours. Uh, at most eight hours. At most those who cannot control. But not ten hours, twelve hours, fifteen hours. No. <coughs> Then what is the use of? Uh, somebody went to see one advanced devotee, and at nine o'clock he was sleeping, uh, and he is advanced devotee. Uh, 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 is not that? Uh, so <laughs> what is what kind of devotee? Uh, devotee must rise early in the morning by four o'clock, uh, but five o'clock he must finish his bathing and other things. Then he take to. Uh, Chanting and so on. Twenty-four hours business must be there. Uh, so mm. sleeping is not good. Good. Uh, the Goswamis used to sleep uh, only two hours. Uh, <coughs> I also write at night. Oh, I I also sleep not more than three hours. But I take some time, little sleep more. Not like I don't imitate the Goswami. That is not possible. But as far as possible, uh, so everyone should try to avoid. And avoid sleeping means if we eat less, then uh, we will avoid eating, sleeping. Uh, after eating, there is sleeping. So if we eat more, then more sleep. Uh, if we eat less, then <coughs> less. Uh, eating, sleeping, uh, melting, and melting should be avoided. Uh, uh, that is a, a great stricture. Uh, sex life should be uh, minimized as far as possible. Uh, therefore, we have got this restriction. No illicit sex. Uh, sex life, we don't say that you cannot do. Nobody can do. Therefore, uh, sex life means married life. Uh, a little concession. A, a license. Our life. You take this license. Uh, but not illicit sex, then he will never be able. Uh, uh, so, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, and defending, we are defending so many ways, but still, what is there? And the onslaught of material nature, your country is defending so nicely. But now the petrol is taken away. Uh, you cannot defend. Similarly, everything can be taken away at any, any, any moment. So depend on Krishna for defences. Avastha rokhi ve Krishna. This is called surrender. Surrender means Krishna says that you surrender unto me, Sarva Dharman Paritajya. Let us believe this, that Krishna is asking to surrender. Let me surrender. He must protect me in danger. That is called surrender. Now I am surrendering to Krishna, but for my defense I am making other arrangement. Then I have no faith in Krishna. If I believe in Krishna, then we must believe that Krishna is Ahamkaram Sarvapapi Bhamakhoshami. Believe. Sattam Sauchana Daya Khanti. Khanti means toleration. What is that? See, Hanti. Self-control, even if there is cause of anger. Yes, uh, tolerate. Yes, Hanti. 
we should not be intolerant. Even somebody uh, has done some wrong unto me. Tapasri, Khamarupa Tapasrina. Tapasri, those who are advancing in Krishna consciousness, uh, uh, undergoing tapasya austerities, their first qualification is to forgive the offender. Uh, this is the qualification. Tapasrina, uh, Khamarupa Tapasrina. Then tyaga. Tyaga means uh, to give your energy for Krishna. Uh, everyone is giving energy for his sense gratification. When you give our energy, Krishna, parathe prajna utsije. This is Chanaka point. Sannimitte param tyaga. Vinasi miyate sati. Sannimitte param tyaga. Tyaga means to give in charity for others' benefit. That is called tyag. Uh, so what is the best tyag? When you give up everything, that there is no question of such thing. You do your best, but depend the result on Krishna. That is what. If somebody comes to attack you, you must also attack. You first attack. Uh, but uh, you should not think that I am so powerful, I can gain victory over it. Depend on Krishna. Do your best. Yuddha Samavanusma. This is our point. When there is question of fight, we have to fight. Just like in Bombay. We fought. But the result is dependent on Krishna. We have come out victorious. There is no hope of getting that land. It is regular fight. The whole Bombay city become agitated. But you have victories because it's dependent on Krishna. Uh, I thought, simply I prayed to Krishna, uh, my dear Lord, you are seated there on that place. If you are revoked, then I will be suicide. You must remain there. My only prayer was that. I don't care for this land, but you are seated there. I cannot tolerate this insult that you will be removed from me. So Krishna saved our face. He still remained. Oh. So we should be like that. We should fight to our best, but depend the result on Krishna. Don't try to take the credit for yourself. That is one. Mm-hmm. Devotees in Iskand, should a certain section of devotees in Iskand be trained as Kshatriyas? Should they be specially trained? Well, a devotee is neither Khatriya neither Brahman. He is servant of Krishna. That's all. Uh, these ch- Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, they are on the material platform. On uh, the spiritual platform, there is no such distinction. A spiritual platform, the master and the servant. You remain a servant. If you have to act as Kshatriya, act like that. If you have to act as a Brahmin, act like that. If you have a, that is our supervision. Uh, a devotee is always servant of God. Whatever service is required, as a Brahmin, as a Kshatriya, as a Vaishnava, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are ready. It does not mean that because we are fighting, we become Khatri. No. Uh, so, Guna, these are the division of the three qualities. But a devotee is about said that one mistake of the neophyte devotee is to think that he is suffering under some condition, some distress, and that is due to the circumstances under which the distress occurred. And uh, <clears throat> my question is, uh, can the change of one's service 
can changing the, the type of service one's performing, can that help him to uh, achieve the desired uh, perfection in the uh, relationship with the spiritual master and Krishna? <coughs> What is the real proposal? I do not follow. Um, well, suppose why don't you say frankly? This is why in a <laughs> jugglery way. <laughs> Tell what is the fact. Well, like if one if one is a, is a, in a big temple, he's a cook in a big temple. Yes. And uh, in this big temple, the cooker and the man who is worshiping the deity and the man who is sweeping over, they are all one. There is no distinction. Uh, so, there is no such material distinction. In the material world, if somebody is doing nice job, he is greater, and if somebody is not nice job, he is smaller. In the spiritual world, there is no such distinction. So if one is like that in, in a comfortable situation? Uh, a comfortable situation is also sense gratification. Any situation we shall do, have to serve Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. Not that. If it is comfortable to me, I shall do it. That is a sense gratification. That is sense gratification. That is not spiritual. That is material. Comfortable or uncomfortable, it doesn't matter. If Krishna wants it, I must do it. That is what. That is what. As soon as I discriminate, this is comfortable, this is uncomfortable, and that is material. Mm. But how, how can we know what type of service Krishna is? Therefore you have got spiritual master. Why he is there? Therefore you have to accept spiritual master. He will give you direction. You cannot do it. If you manufacture your own life, then go to hell. Yasya devi para bhakti jatha devi tatha guru. Tashaiti kavita jatna. Krishna is there. Guru is there. Why should you manufacture your own way? If you are sincere, Krishna will dictate from within. Tesam satatvijuktanam bhajatam preeti purvaka. Find out this verse. Tesam satatvijuktanam bhajatam preeti purvaka. Buddhiju vangadhanitam. Krishna is ready to give you instruction. His spiritual master is ready. Why should you do at your whims and do something wrong? And go to hell. Yeah. Tesam zatata yuktanam bhajatam priti purva kam vidami buddhi yogam tam yenam amupyanti te. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. That's all. Krishna is within you. He'll give you. As soon as you become a pure devotee, all dictation will come from within. And besides that, Krishna is helping inside and outside. Outside the spiritual master, inside Krishna Himself. Very difficult. Simply you have to become sincere. That's all. Everything is there. But if we become cheaters, we do say something before Krishna, before spiritual master, we are fire and do something else. Then there is no question of dictation from Krishna. You do your at least. Sakarmana, by your own work, you suffer. Or enjoy. There is no enjoyment, simply suffer. That's all. Material world, there is no question of enjoyment. Simply we call cock, this is enjoyment. This is not enjoyment, it's suffering. Hmm. No, you, you do not try to be offensive, but because your past habit, you become offensive. Therefore, ten kinds of offenses should be avoided. That we speak and give in least an initiation. There should be ten kinds of offenses should be avoided. Guru Rabagya Sudhi Shastra Nindanam Samma Subhakriya Mati Pramana Namna Bala Jasya Papa Vidhi These are things. 
the most offensive is that Krishna, by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, I become sinless. So in the morning let me do, or in the at night let me do all sinful activities. In the morning I shall chant Hare Krishna and I say everything will be nullified. This is the greatest offense. Namnat Balad Jasahi Pahavati. Because I am chanting, therefore I can do anything sinful. It will be counteracted. This is the greatest rascal and sinful activity. Namnat Balad Jasahi Pahavati. By chanting Hare Krishna mantra, we become immediately sinless. That's a fact. But why shall I come it again? Just like the Christian people, they go to the church, confession. Say, I, you know, I did this, all this sinful activity. All I say is something. Again, from Monday beginning, they come on Sunday. These are not allowed. You can be excused, but don't do it again. If you continue to do it, then there is no excuse. Then you are excused. Once or twice, you may be excused. But if you continue to do that, there is no excuse. Yes, everything under the direction of the Spirit of God. 